What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And Fly Grip has sent to me something for my phone. This is a custom Fly Grip. Now, I'm completely honest with you, the first time I ever heard about Fly Grip was probably a couple years ago, back when Tim started making videos on Fly Grip stuff. So, this company reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to do a video on their product, and I said, why not? I'm going to give this an honest attempt, put this on my Nexus 6, use it for a little bit, see if I like it, and, you know, I'll post on social media or something. Maybe follow-up video on my second channel or something, who knows. But I'll let you guys know my thoughts after using it for a little while. Because initially when you first get a product, you can't tell right away if it's going to be something you're going to use every day for the foreseeable future. So we'll give it an honest attempt. And then I can just figure out how to open this box. Eventually I will figure out how this thing opens up. I think it actually opens up from right here. We're making progress. All right, now, moment of truth. I want you guys to see what is in this box. Ta-da! This is a custom fly grip. They have a medium size one and a large size one, depending on the size of your hand. So, uh, they've sent me two. I can put one in my Note 4 and one in my, uh, my Note, <laughs> my Nexus 6. Uh, this one is the medium, and that's weird. This one doesn't say. That's, so I'm assuming this would be the large, since it doesn't, that is weird. That, that is weird. Okay, all is well. And they even include a little case, or at least they did for me. This, and this was just so happens to go on the Note 4, which we do have. So you throw this on there and then the fly grip can stick to this case and you'll have a case on your phone as well as a fly grip. So I have, Medium sized hands, they're just long, long fingers. So we're gonna try out the medium first. All right, so let's see what all comes in here. You got like a thing that tells you how to do it. Grab a dull, flat, thin object. Try a butter knife, slide into the fly grip. Slowly, carefully pry up the edges. Clean the surfaces, it is uh, adhesive and is not secure for reuse. Please remove old adhesive. Once removed, fly grip leaves little to no residue on your device. And there's all these steps right there. Okay, this one is to remove the fly grip. This one right here is actually to apply it. So you need to clean the back of your phone. You can use uh, rubbing alcohol, clean the surface and let it dry. Do not use household cleaners. Apply the fly grip, press firmly for about 30 seconds. Wait 30 minutes before using, if possible, allow 48 hours before heavy usage or full bonding to occur. And then you'll see what it looks like once you have your thing all set up and how your fingers look placed in there. All right, let's go ahead and take this off of here. And remember, this is a custom fly grip. You can see the part that will come off and then it will stick to the back of your phone. And you have some extra if you uh, take it off and it becomes not sticky anymore. And then they also include a little alcohol pad. Awesome. Very awesome. And some extra stuff here. Not sure exactly what that's used for at the moment. I am very new to this, so please bear with me. This is definitely my first rodeo with fly grip. All right, I'm going to use the pad they give me to clean the back of my Nexus 6. It says to put it near the bottom where holding it's going to be most comfortable. So we're going to do that. All right, I'm going to take the adhesive stuff off of here. Well, not the adhesive, but the... Yeah, this, this part right here. Okay, so. There's the lens of the camera right there, and they have it like this. So there's that, so it'll go on just like this. Also, you can see the wording of fly grip right there. Yeah, that seems like it fit my fingers pretty well, so I'm going to kind of hold this and be like, where would this be most comfortable at? I would say right above the Nexus logo, just a little bit above it. So let's go ahead and do that. And it says to hold it for about 30 seconds. Oh, Mississippi. Hey, Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi. One. Okay, so I've held it for about 30 seconds. 
And there it is on the back of my Nexus 6. It does say to wait about 30 minutes and then 48 hours for full bondage. So we're, we're going to be a little bit careful. But as you can see, I have a awesome looking fly grip. My own custom fly grip. When people see me holding my phone, they're going to see that. And they're going to know, oh, or they're going to Google my name or they're going to know who I am. And it's going to be pretty cool. So uh, if I ever do get to go to CES one year, you'll see me with this fly grip on my phone possibly. All right. Okay, okay, that's kind of cool. Oh my word. Okay, so a lot of times you have your phone like this and it gets kind of hard to reach the top. So let me zoom out so you can get a better look at this. So it's a little hard to reach the top with the, the you know, like this. So I'll put my fingers in there and dude, I can reach everything. I might move it down just a little bit. I might move it down just a little bit or yeah, cause reaching the bottom of it's gonna be a little bit hard. So I will take it off before it gets fully bonded. I'll probably move it down just a little bit below that end right there. And then I'll be able to reach. Because right now reaching the bottom is going to be hard. But the funny thing is reaching the top's easy. So I'll go ahead and... Oh, that's on there good already. Oh, my word. Wow. Dude, that sucker's on there good. No joke. I don't know. Maybe I'll get used to this. Maybe I'll move it down a little bit. I'm not quite sure. It does tell you on the back here how to remove it. So just be very careful when you're removing it so you don't scratch up your phone too badly. But yeah. So quick little update. I uh, pulled off the old stuff and I grabbed the new little replacement sticky pad they give you because when I pulled it off of my phone to replace it, uh, this the Rasiki residue, of course, some of it sit on my phone, but it was freaking super easy to get it off. To be honest, I did have a E come off of the Nexus thing, but I did some research, and apparently a lot of other people are having theirs fall off just normally. And there is a way to buy a replacement back for this phone. Dom Mac Mixing, he posted a video on how to do that. So if it does take off your letters and you can't put them back on, or if you know they're just falling off by normal, you should you know Mac Mixing Nexus Six fix and fail but I did move it a little bit down it was a little bit higher earlier and now it seems like it's a little bit easier to do things I can reach the home button just fine recent apps back and then I can reach my notifications it is a little bit of a reach so I think either way I look at it if I move it up a little bit it's easier to reach the top but it's harder to reach the bottom but this is a giant phone this is not a small phone you know like the you know like an iPhone or a Nexus 5 a Nexus 5 would be a lot smaller, and it would be easier to navigate around the phone with this thing. But this one is the perfect size. The other one's actually a little big. Like, my fingers don't fit in there nice and secure. Like, that's nice and secure. So, so far, I'm liking this. I'm going to give it an honest attempt and keep using it. But uh, so far, it's actually kind of nice versus holding my phone like this and reaching like that for everything. So, yeah, I thought I'd just provide a quick little update. Now let's go ahead and get to the <laughs> end of the video. Like I said, I'm going to give this an honest attempt. I'm going to keep it on my phone for a little while. And if I like it, then it'll stay on permanently. Who knows? This looks pretty cool. Holding it is just, it feels like you don't have to work as hard to keep it in your hand. Like before, like this, you had to work kind of hard to keep it all in your hand. But that's, that's just, that's kind of cool. I'm really liking that so far. And there is a way to make it a little kickstand if you want to, I believe. Yeah, you can make it a little kickstand if you want to. And when you're done with it, all you've got to do is slide it in there and lay it down. I will have a link to Fly Grip's website in the description below. You can go on there, check it out, get one for yourself if you want to. Thank you very much to Michael over at Fly Grip for getting in touch with me, sending this out to me, and making an awesome custom Fly Grip for my YouTube channel. And so uh, people can see me walking around with this. One last look at that real quick before I end the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I've got many more videos coming on some really cool stuff. I'm very excited to show it to you. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.